Today we are going to use Google Sheets as the database. I already created three videos on this topic. Two of them are in English and one is in Urdu. But their abilities are limited. They can only read and write. Today we will make them also updatable and deletable. And plus point, it will be easy to generate because we are going to use app gener uh, script gen generator app. So first of all, create a, go to Google Drive and create a sheet there. Enter your titles. These titles will be your variable names. I forgot one variable here so I will uh, add a column before this and enter its name. Now freeze this row. Then open Jokyo Sketch Project is app. This app is also available on Google Play. You can download it from there. If you are new to this app, you may need to create an account. But as I am admin of the app, I already have an account. So I will just log in. From menu, go to guest generator. Guest generator is my shorthand notation for Google Apps script generator. You have to paste the sheet URL. Go to sheets. Click on three dots menu. Sharing options. Turn on link sharing. After loading it will show a message link sharing turned on and link copied. So go back to my app and paste that link there. Now we need a sheet name. By default, Google uh, sets a name of first sheet as a sheet one. I'm using as it is. Now it is time for variables. Remember first set the number of variables what you want to set. Because if you change it, previously changed name will reset to default and then enter variable names and click that image to set these variable names you can see these checkboxes pointing uh, text to update that means if you check these checkboxes that variable will be will be added in updating algorithm also reason behind that is uh, while updating there is a limit on characters how many you can pass it as i am using base 64 string which is quite long i will not be able to update the image so i am not including the image variable here now you have two options directly copy it to clipboard or save in phone memory so when i am clicking to save it is not saving because i already have a file with same name and same folder so when i change the name it will save this file it is saved in joko apps folder in my phone memory when i go it its extension is .gs but it is actually a text file. I can rename it to text if I want to see its content is. Now go to script.google.com
here create new project um, I'm using legacy editor actually you can use new editor by default it uses new editor it is asking me to save the project before before switching the editor now this is new editor but there is a problem you cannot edit anything using mobile phone so i switch it to old legacy editor here paste your data for posting and getting data i already explained it in previous videos if you want to understand it go and watch these videos here i will explain about updating and deleting so to update id is used and id is first variable in my case it is name but you can use it id or anything you want so your first variable will be your id and then those variables which you chose to update will be included there i chose three variables so there are three variables images not here so basically it looks for value and the first uh, variable which is our id in my case it is name so whenever that name matches it will update all provided values in that row and for deleting it does the same it will look for that passed id in my case it is the name whenever it matches it will delete that row okay there is only one link then you might have a confusion how will it figure out what it have to do what do we want to do so basically two ways first one is the method we use to make an api call uh, do post will add values and do get has three functions configured inside it if we call it with a parameter uh get many it will get all values if we call it with uh, parameter action uh, delete it will call the delete function and if we call it with the parameter update it will call the update function now save your script then publish deploy as web app publish as me anyone can access even anonymous from here choose your account click on advanced you can click go to then your uh, web app name it is saying unsafe but uh, it is safe you know you uh, developed it so i will copy that url now your web app is published you can make http calls from anywhere from web browser from android app or any where where you have knowledge to make http calls i'm using it in android app and go to sketchware i already have this project this project will be uploaded to app joke sketch project is you can download it from there and 
we just copied the URL of our web app you have to replace it in the project and main activity the async task block which is async core and these are my variables they are all same i am using same except this one here it is pawn but i am using number so i will rename it to number we are getting these variables from these edit texts and on clicking the add button we are executing our async task which puts values into into sheet using that web app at the bottom we have this button which leads to another activity in the view activity at on create here you can see two number variables that is the range what items we want first row is titles so we don't want the titles so we are passing from two to some specific number you can pass both zeros to get all values that's how i programmed it for pagination i will set it true and seven so it will return six items we are calling this rec block in that block there is a link and you have to replace this link paste your web app url here we are passing that map as parameters so we have three variables in the params two for range and third one for action in response we are getting a json string we will convert it into a list map and call the setup block which sets up things as per my need and calls refresh which refreshes the list view now let's try out if it works i'll say select a photo enter demo values for name country and number and then click on add data now if i click on get data it got the data if i click on list item it opened the editor view but i am not able to edit it because in our app in the editor activity i did not added new url i am using a previous url which is linked to another web app so i have to replace it i will paste link of new web app and the update button and delete button both positions now it is working and i wanted to show you one thing i cannot update the name because i am using it uh, it as a id if i had something else for the id then i would have been able to update the name and if you notice when i entered a phone number and clicked uh, update it just disappeared because in the sheet it is 
named with number and in the uh, update activity i named it as phone so you have to be careful about variable names i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button see you next video